Okay guys, so it is a nasty, rainy, muddy day, but boy have we got a treat for you and you are going to absolutely love it. So I'm going to head over and we're going to get you introduced to some people that you're probably going to end up falling in love with. All right, we're at a, a new place here. We're going to introduce you to uh, some really great people. Um, that have, that have agreed to uh, show us around and show us some really cool cars. Okay, so we have Ricky and Debbie. Uh, Ricky and Debbie are super nice people. They've agreed to show us around. And here we have the Ace Mopar mechanic, Howard. So they're gonna show us around the property and we'll see what we find. So our host and hostess gave us this little, um, golf cart to drive around in and my dashing gentleman friend <laughs> cleaned off the seat for me. Are you ready to go? Yep. Ready I think to we're go. gonna have a lot of fun. Ready to go. Oh wow. No, look behind the Jeep. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, that's an old pickup. What was that red one? It's an old Oldsmobile. Mm. Boy, if I need a part for my black right pickup, there. yeah. Look at all these old Chevy pickups in this. So today's car is super special. This is a 63 Studebaker Lark wagon. When was the last time you saw one of these in a video? Probably not too often. Um, this one uh, is parked out here. It's been out here a long time, but it's a solid car. You can actually see the word Lark right here. Oh, cool. Look at that font. Look at that font. It's very small. And it's so subdued. Mm. So subdued. Um, look at this. It's it's absolutely solid. I don't see any evidence of body filler. Got a little dent here. But other than this dent, it's it's straight. I mean, look at this thing. Look at the, the sculpting of the door handles. See that? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's you're not going to find that on GM or Ford. They're pretty pedestrian looking. That is really sculpted. Coming to the back. You want to talk about the hood? I'm going to in a minute. Yeah. Yep. So this is unique to Studebaker. This slides back. Now, why would you need that to slide back? Because if you need it to haul like a refrigerator or an engine lift, <laughs> <laughs> you need you need height. So you'd slide it back. There's a crank inside, and you'd crank it, and this thing slides forward. Um, and you can drive like that. You can leave it like that. So it's really unique. It's got these unique tail lights. They almost look like they were added later, you know, like they forgot to put tail lights here. So at the last minute they put them on there. That's not what happened, but that's kind of what happened. Kind of what it looks like. Oh, here we go. 1983 is the plate. Mm -hmm. um, here's the font again, missing the R. Studebake. <laughs> <laughs> Studebake Wagoneer. It's Wagoneer. Wagoneer. I said Wagoneer, and I was yeah, corrected. Wagoneer. So it does well, say air. I think it's true that. The designer of this wagon is the same guy that designed 
the Jeep Wagoneer, the original. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's the same guy. Watch out here. There's some stuff on the ground. Oh. Okay, let's come around to this side. A little bit of rust in this quarter, but not much. Ooh, that smells bad. And that's very bad in here. Look at that. Mm. This has really terrible, terrible gas in it. Inside. Early hits. Early hits of Lawrence Welk. Wow. I wonder if there's a bubble machine in here. Looks like that's a fold-up seat. Mm -hmm. So if you see the, the flat compartment in the yeah. back here. So you could put like a big block in the back and take it home in this thing. Huh. You know, mm -hmm. I just thought of a use for this. Isn't that nice? Yeah. How's the headliner? Uh, there isn't one. There isn't one, okay. But there's something that... That must have been the... Oh, yeah, let's check that one. Not Get the, the headliner, but it was the, the padding. Oops. So I just got a great use for this thing. Slide this forward. Back it up to an engine lift. And the lift can lower your engine right inside and take it home. Okay. Well, isn't that cool? Can't do that with a regular station wagon. Okay, here it is inside. Let's go up. This is down a little bit. That's a bummer because this floor is really bad. Oh, Whoa. Yeah. This floor is really bad. Mm. We've got a uh, new set of points and condenser for it. Look at the logo in the steering wheel. Mm. Yeah, it's right here on the door as well. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. 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 Isn't that cool? Radio's in it. I mean, this thing is intact. Yeah. It is intact. Um, let me grab that for a sec. Mm -hmm. Full gauges. Look at that. Studebaker Corporation. So when you're driving and you look down, you know what you're driving. You know, in case you forgot what you bought. Yeah, look at this is a headlight switch. Oh, oh, it's stuck. Did you break it? No, but it's stuck. Um, yeah. these switches look like the switches from Star Trek, you know, in the, the, uh, the, the consoles they had in the original Star Trek. Mm. That's what those look like. The ignition switch is hanging out. That's okay. We can deal with that. Yeah. You're going to go show them the neat. Yeah. The yeah, neatness of this. the other side. You got to see this. You see that? All right. Yeah. So check this out. This says vanity, right? This is not the name of the car. What this is, this glove box folds out and converts into some kind of vanity mirror and setup. Where a woman could sit there and, you know, fix her makeup, make sure that she was, you know, 1963 picture perfect yeah I, guess. I mean this is unreal look at the cup holders mm -hmm. this is completely flat this is a fantastic idea why did no one else pick this up yeah i, I like After it studebaker too. let's well, see what's in here you know they the mirrors then start to go up to the visors yeah i think that's just parts to the car but i yeah. could see where you could put things that you might need in there you know um and who knows we might get back and look it up it may have came with accessories it could have came with a powder puff or who knows what. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So unfortunately, this car has a lot of floor rot and rocker rot. Um, but it sure is awesome. Yeah, it so is really cool. Our goal today um, and tomorrow is to get this thing going and pull it out of here. Yeah. Um, and I think we'll be successful. I'm hoping we'll be successful. Yeah, and then I'm going to fix my makeup in that mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and, drink, and drink some hot tea. There you go. <laughs> there you go. All right, more coming.
So uh, all of the plugs were loose, like finger loose. And one of them's missing on this side. The second one is missing. Um, but we scoped, put the scope in a couple of cylinders and it looks good. So I'm putting mystery oil in each cylinder, filling it up before I try to turn it or anything. Um, and I'm on the last one right now. So I'm hopeful. I haven't pulled the air cleaner or anything, but I'm hopeful. The plugs look good. And you are bending over so oddly. <laughs> so. Well, the tires are flat. <laughs> stand up I think this goes to your knees so I can tell you're gonna have a really bad backache tonight it does go to your knees look at yeah, that just oh my gosh it's so just funny about. all good all good <laughs> okay so we've also got some burnt wine oh hold on one sec what we thought this was a 1963 correct yeah this is 1966 right there huh you see it yeah I see it I see it, but I think that was Studebaker's last year. It was their last year. Huh. And remember, we looked up how many of these were made the last year, and there wasn't many. Like, I'd have to go back and look at my notes, but I want to say it was like 1,200. It can't be, though, because it's supposed to have a Chevy engine if it's the last year, and this is not a Chevy engine. I don't know. It's very strange, but it does say 1966 right there. It does. All right, so oil's in. I'm going to see if it's seized. Okay. All right, it's hard to uh, to check if this is stuck because the alternator is loose, but. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, wait. I... No, that no. was just the oh, belt slipping. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, that's a huge nut, so let me see if I can get a nut. A on it. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. Come on. You Did only spend it a little bit. Yeah. I'll so don't going. get too happy. Come on. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we got it. Oh, oh yeah, the mystery oil is actually popping out. Yeah, let's see if I can keep going. Uh -huh. Oh, I gotta go all the way around twice. <sighs> oh, oh, wow. Hold on. It's only coming out of the first two. Oh, there we go. You're in the back now, so you've gotten it all the way around. No, not yet. Oh, well. Not even close. Really? Yeah. Because I thought that would mean, since it was the back came out that you had, no? Nope. Do you see anything coming out on your side? Yep, the first okay. one. That has to be at least four times. Maybe more, no? Going. It's going very fast. Yep, now. that's once. Oh, really? That's once. All right. Well, I think you're gonna have two easy peasy. <laughs> My back's telling me that wasn't easy. <laughs> yeah, I think I think your back needs a rest for the day because we have put your back through a lot today. <laughs> Look up and smile, hon. Now would be the time to subscribe to to make Richard feel so much better about good. destroying the disc in his back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling good. Yeah, he is. Yeah. This thing was stuck. Yeah. It was stuck. It took all of my strength, but I was able to do it. And uh, I'm around nearly twice now, and we haven't encountered anything. I mean, it's spinning beautiful. Okay, that's twice. Yeah. <sighs> it's unseized. <laughs>
it's dry. Yeah. Um, but it looks, yeah, it looks like it's in good shape. Can you see underneath the, the cap? Oh. Oh, that looks very good. Yeah. Um, but you can tell, see the cap is all worn out, this rubber. Uh -huh. And look at the top of this. When it was running, it was leaking out. All that green is from, really? yeah, it was leaking out. But it looks good in there. Of course, it's dry. Mm, and, you know, it has a horn. Yeah, it's got a horn, yay. <laughs> um, something's up with this alternator. It looks like someone snapped the bolt for the alternator. Mm -hmm. So, we'll just hold it over there for now with some vice grips. Oh, that's a long. Yeah. Look how long that is. Is that the transmission fluid? It is. And look at that. It's, it's beautiful. red. It's, it's it is. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. There's no dipstick in it, but we're going to have to find a dipstick around here. Well, that might be easily done. Yeah. I don't know if it'll be long enough, but... Yeah, yeah we'll find one. Okay, wires. Yeah. Um, there was an engine fire under this hood at one point, and these wires are pretty bad. So I'm afraid if I hook voltage up to this car, bad things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to uh, probably... Look at this. I think that's the, probably the coil wire that went to the ignition switch. Mm. Um, oh, look at this. This is shot. Holy cow. So this is the starter someone right here. This is shot, shot, shot. Look at that. Mm. I'm going to have to figure something out here. Um, but all good. All good. We have to get something to check the oil next. Do you see anything? I think so. All right. And... No, it's not quite long enough. Okay. Okay, so we got a dipstick. Very long. Oh, yeah. It goes all the way to the bottom. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's got plenty of oil in it. Lanty. Oh, it's got good viscosity too. Maybe a little bit of gas in it, but not, not bad. Much. Okay. Not bad. We're good. Okay. So I got this from a company. Talk louder. Uh, JF Eguo. Um, it's supposedly a good jump box. It's a tiny little thing. We've been mm -hmm. using it to charge the phone, and it's worked great. Um, i got to be super careful here because there's bare wires, so I'm just going to touch it and see what we get. I think I've got this turned on. I mean, there's a light. It says 100%. There's a light right there. So. Yeah, it says 100%. Okay. So technically... Okay. Yep. I heard it. Oh. You know, maybe you could have wore some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we have an audience. <laughs> so this little guy works pretty good. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yep. And it's, it's covered in Marvel Mystery. It's covered in Mystery right Shoot. now, just like I am. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can you take, can you see it? No, no, I can't. You that? look fantastic. It just goes into my skin like it belongs there. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm going to do is just spin it some more to get all this oil out of here. Okay. Well, let's maybe find some glasses. Well, I, I, I don't want to get touched at all. Forget about the glasses, so I'm going to just try to move out of the way. But, okay. You know, my space in here is quite limited. Right. Quite limited, but maybe if I go down here. Okay, well, you know, we should... We should try to do proper safety when possible. Oh, I'm being safe. Ready? Yes. Come on. Come on. Why did it stop? 
this real bad. Well, wow, that's not good. Real bad, real dirty connection. Should we clean? <laughs> Quite a bit coming out. Yeah, there is. You must have put a lot in there. I did, I did. But the starter sounds great. You know it does, it and we were prepared great. just in case. Yeah, I had it. I have a Studebaker starter drive. With yeah, me, we were, we were. You know, it seems like carbs and starters have been our death. So, yep. Yep. yeah, we came prepared. Yep. But it, it actually does sound great. It does. It has a wiring issue. Right. <laughs> yep. Have you checked the? Um, for the at uh, the brake fluid, I don't think we I have. I have not. Let's yeah. do that. Okay. Let's see what we got. All right. Let's see what's under here. Tip your. Uh, not going to be good, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 That's not good. It's not empty. Uh huh. It's not empty. Let me get a it, screwdriver. But it looks. Quick. It looks very bad. Yeah, it does. But it's not empty. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, yeah. That's not good. No. And the back is the same. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. So what we'll do is, it's starting to get dark, but what we'll do is tomorrow, we're gonna clean this out, put fluid in and see if it's salvageable. Maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Weird, underneath here. Look at this. No rubber bellows, just these things. Hmm. Very different, very different. And then, Let's check the carb next. Oh, yeah. That's the original. Is, is that the original? Wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, starter turned out good. So next problem area is the carb. Yeah. Look at that little baby thing. Huh. Wow. Is it stuck? No, it's not stuck. Wow, I'm gonna oil that up, but that looks good. Yeah. All right, let's, I'm, I'm always curious as to what's in there. Me too. I know. Wow. All right, I'm a little, I just took. Look at that. I know, it's. It's great. I mean, it's dirty, but. Yeah, but there's no. Nothing living in there. There's no mice crawling out. Yeah. Um, this, there's, I, spiders. Oh, well, spider. Yeah, that, um, whatever that is. Hmm, wow, oh, I expected more than that. Me too. Acorns, you know, mouth house. Mouse? Too. Look at that. Yeah. Look oh, at how what's weird. it say there? Napa air filter. Look at how strange the air oh, filter is. Yeah. Wow. All good there. Wow. Okay. All good there. So far, I'm liking Studebakers. <laughs> yeah, I know. And, you know, the owner told us that he thought the last time that this was probably just started was when they had the fire here. And he said that was 15 plus years. Yeah. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting that it looks so good in spots for that long. All right. Hey, guys. So, we, it's day two, and we are headed back out to Ricky and Debbie's house. Um, we're going to do a little bit more of the tour of their property because it was just nasty and rainy yesterday. So, we didn't get to do much, but um, we're also going to be working on studebaker so richard went um where did you go did you go to o'reilly's yeah she went to o'reilly's this morning and he said that uh the person that 
at the checkout asked who made Studebaker. Yeah. <laughs> I asked her Studebaker spark plug and he's like, okay, who makes Studebaker? <laughs> I told him he should have told him Elon Musk, you know. Um, that would have been a great rumor for a young person to start. I heard Elon Musk is making a new car called Studebaker. Uh, but, you know, he didn't. Too bad I wasn't there. Um, but yeah, so we're going to head back out and it's gonna, I think we're going to have a fantastic day. The sun is shining and it's beautiful and you know when the sun's out, all the world seems right, don't you think? One more thing, Richard wanted to make sure that we told you that they did not have a spark plug. Yeah, um, they didn't have a Studebaker spark plug, so I took one from a 68 Chevy 327. It looks very similar. The reach might be a little bit longer, so I'll figure that out once I get there. But otherwise, it might be a direct replacement. There you go. That's your update. All right, we're back at it. Beautiful day today. Um, goal for today, obviously, is to get it running and get it out of here. Um, but I need to start with the electrical. It's really burned up here. I don't think we showed you this enough yesterday. Um, but this is all torched. This is the positive battery cable to the starter, what's left of it, which is why I kind of had to hunch over and get soaked with oil when I was turning it over. Um, so this has to be all covered up. This is what's left of the cable that goes to the battery. So we've got a new one of those. This solenoid is probably no good. So I've got one of those. Um, and I've got a plug, which I hope is the right one. And looking at this, it does look like the right one, but I'm gonna compare it up to be sure. We got some plug wires to change, um, but that should all go pretty quickly. So we should be cranking on this pretty soon. All right, all right, I'm pulling the solenoid here. It's, uh, I, I don't know if this is gonna come out without, well, that one was loose, but I don't know if this is gonna come out without breaking these bolts. Because not only are they rusty, but they're burned. Oh yeah, this bracket is shot. Yeah, it's coming out. It's coming out. Must have been that soaking in mist you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you put enough in there. Oh yeah, I put enough in there. Okay. So this thing is called the starter solenoid, and this is in use on Fords, um, Mopars, obviously Studebakers, AMC, Jeeps. And instead of being mounted on the starter, what happens is you turn the key, it sends 12 volts here, and that connects these two big wires together. This comes from the, ba from the battery, so the, the main power feed from the battery and goes to the starter and engages the starter. So that's how this works. Um, we're just getting it out of here because there's broken wires all over the place. So this is Olin and uh, he, he might be uh, assisting us later today. So Olin, you want to look at me? You want to say hi? Hi. You like cars? How long have you been working on cars? How old are you? Nine. When did you start? Mm -hmm. When did you start, Grandpa? Four. When you were four. Four. So you, you probably know a lot about cars, right? All right, well, I'm gonna find find a way for you to, to be a little assistant for, for Richard later, okay? Okay. Okay. All right, solenoids in. So next step is I've wrapped this to make it safe. I'm going to hook this up and then hook the new battery cable up on this side. Okay, new battery cable. I'm going to tighten that up. Um, for this connection here, or is it this one? I think it's this one. This is where I'm going to hook the trigger, 12 volts to the trigger. So I won't need any of this. All of this wiring harness is now bypassed. So there's no risk of fire. Now that means the headlights aren't going to work and the dash lights won't work, but that's okay. I'd rather have that than, than start a fire. We can fix that stuff later. Okay, 
Now it's time to rewire the distributor. You can see this blue wire here. That's been added. Um, I don't know why, but it goes right from here and it looks like it went to the battery. I think what happened was this thing burned up right here and someone maybe tried to start it just by jumping the coil. I think that's why that's here. All this is coming out and I'm gonna redo my own. So this is the nut off the uh, coil positive where I'm gonna run 12 volts. and I just wanna make sure it's squeaky clean so I get a good connection with my alligator clip. So I'm cleaning all sides and then it's going on. All right, the little worrisome that the distributor clips are already undone. Well, doesn't look too bad under here. Yeah. Not at all. I've got a brass, brass terminal, brass terminal cap. Um, the rotor looks good. Oh yeah. Look at that unique rotor. It's a good thing that's here because I don't have one of those. Um, condenser looks excellent. Points are really, really corroded, yeah. um, but we'll take care of that. Can you see that right here? Yeah, you can see that right here. There's a screw missing from the points. How did this thing run like that? Hmm. Um, maybe that's, you know, the cap was, was not connected. Maybe somebody stole a screw. <laughs> uh, we're gonna have to find one because it's not gonna run like that. So we are on a hunt to find possibly another old Studebaker on this wonderful property and uh, see if we can steal the screw for the distributor. You gotta love this, this place. Gotta love it. Yeah. I never had a full bear. Is it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Wow, wow. This looks the same, doesn't it? Yeah. Wow, look at the wire. She's got the steel got a little. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Somebody on YouTube's gonna give me crap for doing this. <laughs> we'll put it back. We always try to put things back the way we found them. Yeah, so I didn't make it up this way yesterday, but uh, look at this old, this old Ford truck. And, uh, you know, when I was talking to Ricky yesterday, he was telling me that, pointing out the things that were for sale. And then he said, you know, pretty much everything here. Well, not everything, but I think he said like maybe 80% of the things here were for sale. Um, gosh, look at that. Just that. This tow truck, that old one, look at that. Gosh. Now that, that, wow, that's a beaut right there. Um, so yeah, he has a lot of great things here. Oh, there we go, there's a better view. Look at that. I thought he said there was an engine in it too. No, let's Lift that up and see if there's an engine in there. Yes. Oh, babe. Flat head sticks. Is it intact? Yeah, that's intact. Okay, now this, this would be a cool one. Going. All right, I've got the uh, screw in from the donor and uh, I'm just cleaning the points. I'm going to have to adjust them now because they were obviously not adjusted with no screw. Um, but I want to clean them first because that, of course, can affect the adjustment. Okay. All right, I'm going to touch battery voltage. It shouldn't turn over. It shouldn't do anything. which it doesn't, so that's all good. 
Okay, now I'm gonna hook up a jump to the coil to make up for the burned wire. Yeah, there's definitely spark there. Yeah. Whether or not that's coming from the points, I don't know. I don't think you're gonna be able to see it. It's so bright in here. Yeah. All right, let's see if this works. See, that's why maybe if we use a spark checker, I think people yeah, like to see the spark. It's, it's working. Yeah, we'll do that too. But the points are sparking, but we now we've got to adjust them. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what I've done, if you look down in the distributor here, see these high points? You get a flat point and then a high point. I've put the high point on the rubbing block of the points so the points will open up. And I'm going to put this feeler gauge, which is set to 16 thousandths, in between the two points to make sure they're measured, they're, they're open enough, um, but not too much. That's pretty good. Might be a little too much. I'm going to try 18. No, they're not 18. Well, yeah, they're 18. So I'm going to close them up a little bit. Okay, so this, uh, this bolt is sheared off for the alternator. So I'm just going to fabricate one. There we go. <laughs> Good enough. Okay. We're, we're getting close. Fire yeah, this we're getting pretty close. So here... All right, so... Richard and Howard are taking a few more donor pieces off of uh, this Studebaker. Are you guys shopping? <laughs> They're in their own little world. Yep, yeah, we're uh, we're taking a distributor cap. Yeah. Gonna do anything else? That's it. These wires are shot, so there's no sense taking the wires. Oh, really? But this is a nice cap. Since so yeah, since the other cap is cracked, we gotta find a replacement for it. Is there anything else on here you need while you're up here? We were gonna get the wires, but they're just too hard. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. We yeah, and there's no lot. carb, so mm -hmm. I think we're good. All right. So while Richard is working on the last few things we need before we try to get it started, just wanted to walk around and let you see what the car looks like in the actual daylight. So um, Debbie is excited to get this going. She's wanted to, uh, to get this going for years. And she said that she loves the way the patina on it has turned out over the years. And I agree with her. I think it's great. And I'll tell you an interesting fact about Debbie is that she actually does uh, upholstery work. She's been doing it for decades. So, you know, not really concerned what it's going to look like inside now because she's going to redo everything because she has that fantastic skill. Um, but, yeah, this is going to be a great, great, fantastic car. Um, you know. I told her I could totally see people in California loving a car like this because um, of the surfboards. Um, but, yeah, so it's exciting. I definitely believe this is definitely a car that will be on the road soon. All right, so we're going to check for spark with our spark checker. Yay, I love using this. Just cast a shadow over that. Okay, thing. here we go. We're going to check for spark. Okay. I saw it. Uh, yeah. Okay. Do you want to do that? Oh, it's still going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. We're ready. Putting the place back in? Yeah. Yeah, I think we've got enough oil out of it now. Were we going to put any extra oil in there? Any motor oil? Uh huh. Yeah. Yep. Okay, let's get the plugs in next. How are your knees doing? Fine. Yeah. Yeah, this third plug on this side with the dipstick in the way is a little interesting, so. I, th I think that that is better than the way you were bent over yesterday because, uh. Oh, yeah, I look like less a, stress a on scared your cat yesterday. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Got All right, show time. We're gonna see if this, this baby fires. Plugs are in, wires hooked up. We got spark, should, run, should go. No fuel system yet, because we just want to see if it kicks over. I'm going to put some gas in the bowl. Let's see what happens. Did you happen to notice if that spark plug checker was sparking? I wasn't looking. Okay, let's try it again. Cast a shadow over that and see if it's sparking. Go ahead. No. Okay. Hey, babe, what you doing? Looking for the starter. <laughs> I don't quite know where they are on these. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I got it. Yeah, I got it. Don't mash it, bud. It... It's turning easier. It's got, it's got Howard here helping him out. Okay, hook up the negative cable, babe, and try it. Okay, Howard's got it. Are you right. ready? Oh, no. It sparked here. Yep. Hang on, Richard. It sparked up here. All right, try it now. Mm-mm. Do it one more time. Yeah, it's 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 sending power that down. It sounds yeah. like the uh, solenoid. It doesn't. It sound does. Like the starter. Well, well, there wait, was a the spark from over there too. The wire jumps when she hits. It. Mm -hmm. Feel the wire when she energizes. You can feel the wire jump. Smash it. Oh, okay. I know what it is. This connection here is burnt and it's so bad. I cleaned it off, but it's probably not clean enough. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. Let's try that. The connection to the solenoid is so burnt and corroded, it just wasn't passing enough current. Why it did for a minute and then stopped, I don't know. Um, but we're going to try it now. We're you, we're, you tell him you cleaned it, right? Yeah, I cleaned it. We're a little worried about the starter, the health of the starter. Let's find out. Yeah, that starter drive is problematic. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get the fuel system hooked up. Okay, the fuel line is hooked up to the fuel pump because I just have a sneaky suspicion that this pump is gonna work. The car seems to really wanna go. Um, so I'm gonna fill the bowl up. The vent's over here, so I have to do it from this side. And I did a pretty crappy job at that, but let's see how it goes. Yep, oh my goodness <laughs> who's been playing in the car all right let's try it again it looks like the fuel pump works i mean it shouldn't have run that long mm -hmm. what did i disconnect anything yeah let's try it again I 
Is that Noah's Richard coming from uh, up around the... Might be the water pump. Water pump. We'll find out in a minute. Might be the water pump. Marvel Mistral, yeah, there's a lot of Marvel Mistral burning off. Yeah, that'll that'll take a minute because a lot of it spilled out of the yeah the plugs into the manifold. So don't worry about that. That's completely normal. Um, I don't know if it's run long enough for the thermostat to open. It's really really cold still. Mhm. Mm well, let's put some more gas in. And run it again. I'm gonna put a little more. Yeah. I just put half a gallon of coolant. I need to put a little water. Hey, so you're going to run an errand for us, right? Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Uh, you going with Ricky to get some air for the tires? Yeah. All right. I'm cleaning the dirt out. Now, I know that the brakes aren't likely to work, but we are cleaning the dirt out of the master cylinder, and then I'm going to fill it up. Yep. All right. Um, Got the master cylinder full of clean fluid now. You can see the, the crap that was in it. Some of it spilled over the side here. Black, black, black. So whether that works or not, I don't know. But uh, we're waiting for the owner to go get some air for the tires. And uh, so I'm going to start cleaning up because we've got a, a good running car here now. And uh, we'll take it from there. Okay. So we put a uh, full gallon in. It's up to the top. We're going to run it now. We're going to check to make sure the thermostat's opening, just in case. And I'll try to keep it from running out of gas. <laughs>
working now. No blow by or anything. Good oil pressure, no blow by. But it's got a one of these hoses is leaking. So that smoke you saw is a cool one. It's not empty, but there's nothing on the stick yet. All right. This one's coming up too. Oh yeah, I can see. It's in bad, bad shape, but it's coming up. Mm -hmm. I didn't expect them to be in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Yeah. <laughs> okay, he's getting ready to fill up the last one. Yeah, and this, this bead is not broken. So it just might work. Yeah. And, you know, we walked around the three that he's already put air in, and we do not hear any air coming out. So, I don't know. So I wonder if these Lawrence Welk albums came with the car. <laughs> if so, they really like Lawrence Welk. Okay, first drive in... I don't know. I know first starting over 15 years. Okay. I think it's stuck. It might be stuck. Oh, I know that. Oh, well, maybe one of the tires is stuck. What happened? Mm, might need to, you might need to push. I'll push. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if we can get it to move. Oh, here we Whoa. Well, he's going fast, isn't he? Oh, he's not scared. Oh, no. I might need to get out of the way. The gas pedal was stuck? Okay. I thought he was just adventurous.
Oh, the hood, the hood opened back up again. Well, let's see, in order. Everything was great, mm -hmm. then the throttle stuck, then the hood went up, we realized the brakes work, <laughs> and park the parking pole works. Then we realized that if I use my hand for the accelerator, it's just fine. Uh -huh. The brakes work, we could see under the hood with the hood up, no problem. But the tire went flat on us, so we had to quit. Okay, do you all have a good time? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Awesome! Awesome! Great day!